Welcome back to the Push Your Smart Water Cooler. Today we bring you a very special episode. We are mourning the loss of PT and Silent Hills. As you know, we devoted two whole episodes to talking about how awesome PT was and the prospect of Silent Hills, the Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro Silent Hill reboot, and now it is no more. What the fuck? (laughs) So... The writing was kind of on the wall. It was one of those things where, personally, I was desperately holding on to hope. Being I was like, deluding nobody... myself. <laughs> yeah, nobody has confirmed. There's been a lot of drama around whether Hideo Kojima has been fired or left Konami or whatnot. And so people were obviously like, well, Silent Hills is his next big project after Metagross Solid, which is practically finished. So where does that leave that? And then there was this tweet from this guy who said that during a festival, Guillermo del Toro said it wasn't going to happen. But it was, like, only that tweet for the longest time. Like, nobody corroborated it. Like, nobody, there was nobody else from that event that was tweeting, oh, yes, he said this. So there was that glimmer of hope, like, maybe this is just some jerk making it up. I know. Just to mess with us. And then Norman Reedus tweeted out, like, that he was sad that it wasn't going to happen and it's and what I gathered from that was that he was just responding to that tweet. Yeah. Like, that was his first knowledge of it not going right. through. And then Konami decided that they were going to take PT off the PSN on Wednesday, and they sent out a little alert being like, you have X amount of days, and then it's gone. It wasn't forever. even sent out a little alert. They just all sent posts on the website, like, it is being with, it, it is going to be removed on the 29th. Some eagle-eyed fan on posted it to Reddit. And then it spread from there. So it was literally, like, Konami was wiping their hands clean of this as, like, and trying to bury this as fast as possible. And it took several days for them to come out with a statement as to what was happening. And when they did come out with a statement, it was very much, like, dancing around the issue. Like, there was a sense, oh, well, Norman Reedus's contract expired. So that, like, that was the first official statement. It wasn't that, like, Silent Hills is canceled. It was Norman Reedus's contract expired. Yeah, so the official statement they finally issued saying, yes, it's been canceled, is Konami is committed to new Silent Hill titles. However, the embryonic, stressing how early in the development stage it is. Yeah. Silent Hill's project developed with Guillermo del Toro and featuring the likeness of Norman Reedus will not be continued. No mention of Hideo Kojima. Like you said, they Mm -hmm. didn't actually send out an announcement. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, I was wrong. But they just kind of like tried to sweep this under the rug. Mm -hmm. And I have heard nothing but great things from people about PT. Like, Mm -hmm. it got really, like, a really strong response. It's very much of the old guard that kind of, it's a very, I guess, especially with the Japanese press, there's a sense that, like, okay, we will give you these screenshots that you will release on this date. And -hmm. there's a sense that if we don't tell you this, you won't report it. Or if we tell you this, you'll report it, and that will be law. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, we have an independent gang press here. There are people, there are fans now that, like, trawl those websites constantly to report on this stuff. You can't do that. It reminds me, personally, the the last time I got this, this kind of affected me, was, like, with Square Enix and the Advent Children release date. Mm. (laughs) Where it was on the official website forever. I think it was, like, September 14th. And then they all of a sudden removed it, like, September 15th. (laughs) It was like, (laughs) whoa, whoa, that wasn't there. We don't know what you're talking about. It's like, yeah. it was, we all saw it. So it kind of reminds me that it just seems like a different, like, a different approach to business that hasn't quite caught up with the technology, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. But it made me think, like, more so than that, it made me think of that whole thing with the ESA that just came up, where the ESA, which is a kind of a, a lobbying group with the interests of publishers and ostensibly gamers as well, came out basically saying that any form of hacking is considered piracy, which discour- actively discourages any sort of archiving of old video games and puts the kind of responsibility for keeping the history of games wholly in the hands of the publishers that own the rights, which PT now highlights exactly why that is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Because we are going to lose a great game just because of some corporate squabble. Yeah. And that's the thing. It was never released on disc. People mm-hmm. aren't going to be able to download it again. It. It's quite literally will be lost. Mm-hmm. Apparently, you can still download it now if you'd previously had it downloaded. 
Oh, so it's still on your download list? Yes. I don't oh, know if good. that means... I, I, I saw that report on Polygon. I don't know if that means that um, if you quickly added it to the list right before it was pulled and didn't physically download it before, if you would still be able to download it, but I, I assume so. Mm-hmm. So at least we still have that. But still, there's a very real sense of it just being erased from the record. And it's like, you know, we've seen film go through this. How are we not learning from those mistakes? You know? It's when just, will this circle be unbroken? Yeah. <laughs> Levine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is all his fault. But it's it's just it's so sad because PT was so well crafted. And that's the thing, it was like, unless they did something terrible, it was going to be the biggest Silent Hill release mm-hmm. probably ever. Mm-hmm. It was gonna bring in Kojima fans, it was gonna bring in Del Toro fans, it was gonna bring in Silent Hill fans, it was gonna bring in Walking Dead fans. Junji like, Ito, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> hopefully. There was this huge Venn diagram with so much overlap mm-hmm. in the middle. That was PT. And then they're just kind of pissing it away, which sucks. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that bugs me is, even if Kojima is leaving the company, or I don't really care, even if you get rid of just Kojima, Mm -hmm. there's still so much potential left. Perhaps even more. (laughs) I know, I'm always kind of reluctant to accept the whole auteur theory. Mm -hmm. And it's like, because especially with the game, there are so many cooks in the kitchen making that. And so it's hard to tell, you know, what all was, you know, Kojima's doing as far as what made that demo so great. Mm -hmm. But that demo was so great. (laughs) It was so good. uh, It was your game of the year. It was my game of the year. And what do I have now? A one fifth of an adventure game in Octodad. (laughs) That's all I have left. Thanks a lot, Konami. Have you gotten to play it? all the way through yet no i think you should i think yeah i know now before is the they time. really wipe it <laughs> <laughs> before they forcefully go into my ps4 and take it off i really think that that's in the future i feel like it might just kind of disappear mm-hmm. off everybody's systems that's one thing that really scares me about mm-hmm. the current kind of battles between digital distribution and ownership mm-hmm. and it's something that amazon got in trouble with for Kindle yeah. for, mm-hmm. for taking off books so i don't know I'm just frustrated. I was. I it was one of the things I was so excited about. It was too good for this world. Fucking Silent Hill. Fucking just, Silent uh, Hill. It's one of my favorite franchises, and mm-hmm. for so long it has just been going in all these weird directions. Nothing mm-hmm. has really worked, and they finally had a clear vision. Yeah. And they finally had such a refreshing, awesome idea. Mm-hmm. And this is what we get. Yeah, I think that's a really good point, the fact that this felt so confident. As you described, like, it's been bandied about kind of just like, oh, we have this property, we better do something with it or we lose the rights. (laughs) You know, Mm -hmm. like, that's kind of what it felt like. And now it's like, no, we're going to figure out what Silent Hill is. We're going to make it something to respect again. And this is what it's going to look like. Just Just kidding. kidding. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's so much worse because we, like... Mm -hmm. We interacted with it. It, mm-hmm. it wasn't just something that some, like a handful of press at E3 got to look at. Mm-hmm. Anybody who had a PS4 could download it for mm-hmm. free. It felt revolutionary. And now I wonder if we will, like, because it felt like, okay, maybe this will be a thing now. Like, people will start releasing these kind of demos that are more like proof of concepts for us to play. Mm-hmm. Like, but these really nice polished ones. <laughs> Unlike Square Enix Final Fantasy XV demo that came oh. with Type Zero. I didn't play that one. I played 13's demo, though. (laughs) But, like, this whole idea of the demo being something to present onto itself instead of just, like, you know, something that's kind of thrown out almost after the fact. Mm -hmm. Like, but now I wonder if we'll even get those anymore because this has backfired so spectacularly. So that does it on our memorial for PT. I know we're all very sad, but now we want to know if there are any games that you can think of that were canceled before their time, like Silent Hills. Let us know in the comments, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest episodes, water cooler discussions, and sad memorials for games that will never be.